Mark, uh, a sellout game tomorrow. I think that's the most sellouts of the first ten for anyone this season. But you have struggled at home this season, only scoring 17 and losing six. Why is why have you struggled so much at home? Um, I don't think it's just us this year. I think. You've heard me talk about the significance of the, the opening goal in Premier League games, and that, that hasn't changed in my mind. It's, it's really important to, to get on the score sheet first, in, in my view, because that can shape your game plan and allows you to, to manage games better. Obviously, if you concede goals, or you concede that opening goal, which we have done, unfortunately, at home, we found it more difficult because teams this year seem more adept at are playing on the counter attack, and we've done that to good effect ourselves on the road. So it's it just seems that a lot of teams this year seem to have struggled uh, with their home games, just because teams are set up to to play counter attack, and on their day they they can cause you problems. And that's what we found. Is it significant that you've got seven games left and four of them at home? Yeah, well we we can still turn that around. We we haven't won as many games at home as we would have liked, but uh, we compensated for that by winning. More games on the road than we ever done this year. I think it's the most we've ever done in the Premier League. So maybe we've lost a little bit in terms of the the home form, but the away form's excellent. So we compensated for a certain extent, to a certain extent. But uh, we've got four good home games with with games we, we'd like to think we can win. Uh, Ryan's still with physios. He's um, just doing some some more work with the more strengthening work. We're hopeful that next week he'll, he'll join in training early in the week, and, and hopefully he'll be okay. We we may look to to get him again before he comes back into the fall this time. The season we've had up to to now, which I think most people would agree, is has been a good solid season. Uh, one where we hope to finish well. Ideally, that would have been with Jack. It's not going to happen. But uh, he'll come back stronger. The, by all accounts, the, the operation was a straightforward and a successful one. So uh, I fully expect him to be fit and raring to go come the beginning of the, the pre-season period. There's not been on two sides of the, the same coin. It's, it's, as an international manager, you want time to, to work with your group because you don't get that much time. So uh, you want to maximise that. But as a club manager, I see the reverse of that is that at this stage of season, we've got seven games to go, the team seven, eight games, whatever it is, it's right at the business end and to have two friendlies at this stage I think is a little bit too much. I think one friendly would have sufficed to be perfectly honest. The second friendly I always feel is a little bit of a non-event because um, the bigger players in the international squads will put their hand up for the first one and then have an understanding with international managers that maybe they're not involved in the second one so the second international fixture I always feel is a bit diminished because from looking from the outside it looks like they get the the team that they want out on the field in the first game the second friendly I think is just to keep people happy so I think uh, one friendly fixture would have been enough at this stage of the season okay thanks guys